What are we discussing today? We're going to take folks to a super popular dim sum place in Boston's Chinatown called Heiju. I'm sorry, called Heila Moon. It's probably the best dim sum place with actual dim sum carts being pushed around in Boston's Chinatown. What are dim sum carts? We will show an example of dim sum carts later. But dim sum carts are pretty much like me or typical husbands in their marriage. Why? As husbands, we get pushed around by wives. And if our family or friends like something in our carts, such as money, wisdom, and or our protective ability, our wives, again, the ones who are pushing us around, will take these favorite traits out either for themselves or for our family or friends in exchange for some kind of securities. Okay, that's not exactly accurate, but you get the picture. Okay, that's not the picture, but you get the idea. Okay, that's not the idea because different dim sum places have different dim sum food items. I'm just going to briefly go over which items to possibly eat less at a dim sum restaurant. Which dim sum items are generally high in calories or to be minimized? Ma la gao or sweet egg cake. He ye no mi ji or sticky rice in lotus leaf. Anything fried, such as the ones pointed to on this menu, which we personally often order when we go to dim sum restaurants. Which dim sum items are generally lower in calories or healthier? First of all, by saying these food items are relatively healthy, we don't mean for you to eat them like there is no tomorrow. But in general, feng zhuo, or chicken feet, xia jiao, or shrimp hargao, and sao mai, or shu mai, are relatively healthy. What we have mentioned are some of the very popular dim sum items one can almost always get when dining at a dim sum restaurant. But these are definitely not all inclusive. Correct! These are likely less than 50% of what a typical dim sum restaurant's menu offers. And the video clips we're about to show demonstrate that. In essence, I recommend not eating anything excessively. I know this is a subjective term, but you should know your body the best. So try not to stuff yourself all the way to your throat when going to a dim sum place. Something I still have difficulty with. So I won't give a lecture on this. All right, let's go. Howdy folks, welcome to our channel. I am Pushy. I'm Mushy. And we're the Pushy Mushy, Mushy. yeah! Serious. So, be serious is actually a gram-positive bacillus that has the potential to cause food poison. Seriously. We will do our best to combine facts with humor, but if we do make mistakes, please let us know and we will do our best to correct. Please like or dislike, hopefully not dislike, subscribe, comment, share, and press that bell icon. Great! We're at Hyla Moon today. The address for Hyla Moon is 88 B Street, Boston, Massachusetts, 02111. We highlight the dollar sign over here in case anyone is interested in getting the most bang of your buck. Here is an example of a dim sum cart we were talking about earlier. Though no one is pushing it, or maybe someone is pushing it, but you just can't see that person. Ooh. Here is another example of a dim sum cart, this time with an auntie pushing the cart around. When this cart stops at your table, you can then let auntie know which dish you would like from the cart, and she will place it on your table. Here comes some interesting interactions between Pushy and one of the aunties. I eat about menu. Pushy, why on earth would you call auntie, auntie first? You should have just called her pretty lady. Calling someone the wrong name might result in dim sum cards crashing into each other. Now, for all of you who advocate for gender neutral tone or language, pretty lady is a very culturally acceptable term in most Asian countries. But now, Back to Pushy. Hey. See? That sound was two dim sum carts crashing into each other. Pushy, say something to make the situation better. Dude, Pushy, you might be making the situation worse. 
Apologize. Oh, That's better. All right, let's get some food. Feng Zhuo, right? Then that Niu Bai Ye, Bai Gu. Okay. Then Jiu Cai Xia Jiao. Good, good. 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 韭菜好那个糯米鸡老板不给钱我好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好
米糕，糯米鸡，刚刚的糯米饭。潮州粉骨，甜水饺，小麦，蚝油芥蓝。鱿鱼，马马里。我这也有椒盐，蛮好吃的。So how was Hela Moon? I thought it was great. The perfect place to bring family and our friends to in order to share the happiness. Did you overeat? Yup, I overate, and that is not a good example. But yes, I did overeat. To be honest, we overeat every time we go to a dim sum place. Something we just have to work on. No, Mushi is perfect. There is nothing on earth that Mushi needs to work on. That was smooth. Of course, trained by the best. So, on a scale of one to ten, how do we rate Hei La Moon? We give it a nine out of ten. Pretty high. And we highly recommend you to try it out. The next time you stop by Boston's Chinatown, where the pushy mushy. Thanks for watching. Ben.